dope. Dope for the culture, this is more than just a phase. Feeling like tsunami, see my wall sweat with a wave. It's your boy, Tsunami Timo. Tsunami Timo. What's poppin' Tsunami Gang? It's your boy Tsunami Team and I'm back at it again. Today, I got something real special for you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about tips when you're going to work and when you're going to school. Now, there's tons of videos out there, but none of them pertain to straight hair waivers. So here I am today to help you guys out and maneuver your way through work and school. So, when you go to school, not a lot of schools will let you wear your do-rag. Not a lot of places where you work will let you wear your do-rag. I mean, if you work at McDonald's, I've seen a few guys at McDonald's or Burger King wear their do-rag, but I know not everybody's working at McDonald's. Point being is that if you're not allowed to wear your do-rag at work or at school, you need to keep your brush on you at all times. Simple as that. Brush as much as you can. Now, I don't want you guys to get in trouble. Um... Uh, because your teacher will say, oh, you don't need to be brushing, you need to be focusing on what I'm teaching you. So, for that case, brush when you're able to, okay? I know you're not going to be doing work the entire time during class. And I know you're not going to be working 24-7. So before you go to school, I want you to unrag, use a soft or medium soft brush, right? Get a quick 5-10 to 10 minute brush session. I don't want you to use any hard or medium brush during a work day or at school whatsoever so make sure you get your medium soft or a soft brush that will be the tool that you'll be using throughout your work day or your school day so that's the case for if you're not allowed to wear your do-rag if you're allowed to wear your do-rag at school I highly recommend you wear it throughout the entire day while you're at school or at work so for you guys that are not allowed to wear your do-rag at school or at work and you're sweating let's say you work outside or your school is primarily outside such as the case in Arizona, California, Nevada, the hotter states. I want you guys to purchase yourself a cold wash. So this is what's considered a cold wash. You can actually use this on a regular basis. So let's say you're on the football team, not allowed to wear a do-rag. Use this. If you're a basketball player and you sweat every day, use this. If you're a construction worker, you work outside, use this at the end of the day. This will not strip your hair, so you can use this more often than the once a week washing style. So, what it is, is as I am cold wash. So, you can pick this up at Target or Walmart, probably Sally's as well. But this is a must have if you're an athlete or if you work outside. So, let's say you're a football player, right? I want you guys to invest in a wave cap. Now, we all know as a straight hair waver, we cannot put on just a wave cap. We have to put on a do rag and then put the wave cap on. So, obviously, if you're a football player and you have straight hair and you're trying to get waves or you already have waves, I recommend you get your do-rag and a wave cap and follow the instructions that I have on my how to tie your do-rag video. Let's say you're on a football team, right? You have your football helmet on, but you're not allowed to wear a wave cap or a do-rag. You can still have waves and you can still gain progress, but make sure that you buy this. Now, when you're taking off your football helmet, I want you to grab it from the back and go with the flow of your hair. You don't want to take it off from the front and then pull all your hair up, okay? That may mess up your progress. But as far as taking it off, take it off from the back and go slowly with the grain of your hair. Also, for you guys that are going back to school, I highly recommend you do not wolf during these months. So, I don't recommend you wolf while you're in school, okay? Because you're gonna need to be brushing, blind brushing for the most part. Now, four angles, okay? The side, the back, and the top. Nothing else, okay? Don't get crazy with your angles, especially when you're blind brushing. So make sure, when you're back in school, keep a fresh cut. This also goes for the guys that are at work. I don't want you guys to be wolfing at work because your hair is going to look crazy, especially if you're not allowed to wear a do-rag. So, what I did, I got a fresh cut recently. I told the barber not to take any of the top. So this applies for you guys as well. Um, as I'm trying to brush with a medium, medium soft, or a soft. Everything is in disarray, okay? Even if I'm brushing the right angles, the hair is all over the place. Sometimes when I unrag, my hairline will be shifted, okay? That is not what you want to have at all, especially when you're going back to school, because you'll look like a fool. Now, another thing I recommend you invest in is either a plastic bag or what this is, 
which is a lay down jig, okay? This is used to lay down frizz. Now when you're out and about, especially coming back to school from summer vacation, I know it's very humid, very hot. Your hair will frizz up. That's why I said don't wolf when you're coming off summer vacation. But this is your friend. Let's say you took your brush with you to school, you're brushing, right? But now you're walking the hallways. You're not going to be brushing while walking the hallways. Or when you're at your job and you're walking from A to B. Similar to the plastic bag method, you could use this to lay down frizz. So you could be walking, boom, no frizz. And this will keep you fresh all day. I hope these tips helped you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to hit me up on Instagram at Tsunami Timo. Uh, read down in the description box below all the information on the items featured in this video. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment if you like this video and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys because without you I wouldn't be at this point. It's all due to you guys that have subscribed to my channel and continue to support it. So thank you very much. Once again, it's your boy, Tsunami Timo, and I'm out.